That's what it's all about, eliminating the barriers to success, providing more opportunities for young people to be able to succeed. That's what we want. We want every kid, no matter where you live, no matter what your zip code is, no matter what your station in life is, we want you to have the opportunity to succeed. And that's what this is all about. Achieve 24-7, our goal is to, of course, eliminate the achievement gap, but also just to make sure those, those opportunities are there. And so the program here in Oakland Mills and your leadership is tremendous, but to have this opportunity for 80-some kids to come in and be able to have this opportunity for math and, and enrichment and, and provide breakfast and lunch is incredible. Uh, but Achieve 24-7 is bigger than that. It's also the Weekend Warrior Snack Pack. And we talk about that, and the school system does such a great job. And thank you to the Howard County Public School System for providing the summer meals. It is such an important, I hear from James, 400, 500 young people getting these meals. That's a need that some people don't think we have in Howard County. But we need to make sure people understand we do. And thank you for letting us partner with the Weekend Warriors so that we can help folks have those meals in the weekend as well. So thank you for that. Achieve 24-7 is a huge initiative. It encompasses every department we have in Howard County. Every department looks at how we can be more successful to eliminate these barriers to success. Yes, many of our young people are taken care of in Howard County. Yes, we have a very high graduation rate. But do you realize that 600 of our students are homeless? And that's another shocking piece of data where you can almost say that can't be true in Howard County, but it is. So programs like this, our partnerships like this, all show our commitment uh, to our most vulnerable. And the bottom line is how we respond to our individuals who are most vulnerable defines who we are as human beings and our values to take care of each other. At the end of the day, that's what it's all about. It is true, it sounds cliche, but children are our future. No matter where a children, what, what, no matter where they live, no matter what resources they may seem to have or not have, Every child is valuable, every voice of a child matters, and everything that we can do as a community to provide them with the tools that they need to live well, to thrive, and to live the kind of life, the best life that they can, is our responsibility. Trying to um, remove barriers is what I would say for all of our families and kids in Howard County is the most important thing. And I work with the local children's board and the, and the Chief 24-7 um, program has been phenomenal. Um, I was here last week uh, with our principal, Ms. Megan Roback, who's done a phenomenal job. Uh, and your staff here at Oakland Mills Middle in regards to just removing barriers for kids all year long, whether it's the case managers that were at three of our middle schools um, since between September and February, I think they served 187 different families in that short period of time. This, uh, the almost 80 kids are in their summer program, accel math acceleration program. All those things make a difference. I think even last week, I think they served 400 kids breakfast and maybe five plus 500 plus uh, lunch here at Oakland Mills Middle. Um, it's all about having a partnership. We talk about the, uh, the backpack program and you work with that quarry. All those things to me are very important to remove barriers and, uh, and so our kids can have access to their, their education that they need.